Sue Patterson and I'm Senior Business Development Manager for Morgan Tindall, uh, Head of CD for Liverpool and City Region and wider region. Uh, I'm Richard Potts, I'm the Area Director for Morgan Civil Construction for the Liverpool Western uh, region of the North West, uh, so from Lancashire down to North Wales and across to Warrington. Uh, so I'm responsible for all of the construction activity that takes place within that area, uh, responsible for pre-construction, work winning, delivery, satisfied clients, and looking after all of those projects in aftercare for the defects liability period. In summary, that's my role and responsibilities. Okay, so Morgan Sindel a Group um, are a big group of companies uh, of which Morgan Sindel Construction is part. Um, so we are specifically a construction business um, uh, delivering, um, as you might be able to see outside here, I don't know whether you'll pick any of this up, but you know, delivering big sort of quite complex construction schemes. Uh, and I think sort of assisting our clients, making sure things stay in budget and are delivered on time. Um, but there's other elements of Morgan Sindel Group. There's a development side, there's design, um, there's um, fit out. Um, and this particular project that we're sitting in, the Royal Northern College of Physicians, um, is a collaboration actually between us, Morgan Sindel Construction, and Overbury, who are a part of our sister company, who do a lot of the fit out. So I suppose this building in particular that we're sitting in today is a really good example of what you know, Morgan Sindel can do when, when we come together you know, collaboratively uh, we can deliver some really fantastic sort of projects. Yeah, and also um, Morgan Symbol provides a lot of social value when we're working on schemes. So um, our cabins on, on site here at Paddington Village, we have what's called the Knowledge Quad. And the Knowledge Quad is an initiative that we came up with um, in order for us to put back into the community where we're working. So we've actually got a classroom on site that the colleges, university, schools can come and use. Um, they can deliver the modules and workshops from the classroom and it allows the students to get a real hands-on experience. So that's just kind of part of what else we do. I think, um, I think we bring a lot of added value. I think when we get involved in schemes quite early on, um, we can bring um, a lot of added value uh, certainly with regards to engaging with our local supply chain um, and getting those sort of key local people involved in projects early on, making sure that, you know, the budgets are, are fixed and that we deliver against those budgets for our client. Um, looking at the design early, getting involved with the design um, of these projects, making sure they're as efficient as possible um, and really sort of helping our client deliver these quite complex projects um, for, a, for a budget that's sort of fixed. Um, and I think that's what we bring, which is, uh, which is different, um, is that early involvement, early engagement, engagement with local supply chain, um, and then engagement with local community, picking up on some of the stuff that Sue's just said there, also gives us the ability to sort of engage with local education establishments, you know, delivery again with, with, with regards to apprentice targets. You know, again, this, this scheme has, uh, has had 90 apprentices uh, come through come through the books uh, here at Paddington Village, uh, which is a real testament to what we've done and what we've been able to do by that sort of early engagement, early involvement in the whole construction project. So, um, so everybody benefits. That's really what Morgan Sindel Construction want to do: make sure that um, everybody benefits in the local community from the work that we do. I think it's the support we provide as well to the local authorities, and um, you know we. We went up to MIPIM, we supported the city region, I was at MIPIM in attracting investment into the city and you know that investment that comes into the city will lead on to future work for you know not just Morgan Sindel but for the supply chain that we work with as well. Um, and then it's you know it's it's the partnership work and our how we work collaboratively. You know, people get on with people and I think we're And I think following on from that, I think the the other important aspect of that is local authorities are really clear about what they want with regards to KPIs, particularly, you know, how these projects, particularly public fund, public money and how it's being spent and how it's benefiting the local community. And I think what we do is really focus on that really early on to make sure that we deliver, you know, not just an exceptional experience for the client, but also 
real benefit to the local community in, in not just in, in education, in jobs, you know, and in the and in the money that comes into these projects going back out into this into the local area. I think they're real key things. On this project, every pound that's gone into it, um, two pound nine has gone back through, and that's through. We calculate that through LM3. Don't through we? the LM3, yeah. Um, yeah. And then you know, social val the social value that's gone back into the community and the the local region from this project has been, um, I think, it's seventy five percent has gone back into the local local community. So that's good. Yeah, that's good. Um, very much depends uh, on the type of scheme that's being uh, delivered by uh, the clients, but but predominantly we don't necessarily call it a key account manager. We probably call it a bid manager. Some uh, one of our guys in pre-construction who's got the responsibility of um, getting involved early with the clients, uh, building that um, trust and building that relationship uh, to deliver. Uh, and make sure that we're really clear about the journey from sort of early design stage right the way through to when we start on site, making sure the design's robust, making sure budgets are robust. Uh, so we have a bid manager who sort of takes that through, builds that relationship with our client um, and sort of has that sort of one-to-one -one contact, you know, and that regular, regular contract throughout that pre-construction process right up to when we start on site. When we start on site, that obviously transfers to the project delivery team. Uh, and then you've got senior project managers who sort of take over that role uh, and again sort of build on that sort of strong relationship that we've created in the pre-construction department uh, to really sort of drive that project home. And then beyond that, when the project's finished, uh, then we have obviously our aftercare manager who then looks after the buildings for the defects liability period. But again, it's that sort of one-on-one -on -one contact, making sure we've got that really strong uh, sort of relationship to make sure that we always delight our customers. That's what we're about, making sure we delight our customers in line with our perfect delivery strategy so that hopefully they recommend us to do some, some more work. But th this particular um, area that we're sitting in today is called Paddington Village. This is uh, quite a significant development that Liverpool City Council have been uh, doing for the last four, nearly five years now. Um, we were appointed as construction partner um, through a framework called the Northwest Construction Hub. And what we've been doing is uh, helping the client, um, similar to how I explained earlier, getting involved early on with regards to the design of each of these buildings, um, working out high level cost plans, going through a gateway process uh, with our client to make sure these things, these projects are deliverable within the budget constraints that they had. Um, and then we've ultimately delivered uh, quite a significant amount of work here. There's a big undercroft car park, which we're actually standing on top of right now, which you can't see. It's got a big concrete lid on it. Obviously this fantastic, the spine building, which is obviously very high profile. Um, I think it's the first class A offices to be, to be grade A offices to be built in Liverpool for decades, decades I think. Yeah. Uh, so fantastic to be involved in that. And what a great accolade to have the Royal College of Physicians uh, new home up here in Liverpool. Um, so that's brilliant. We're also delivering um, across the way a 1200 space car park. Um, which um, I don't know whether you'd be taking some pictures of it, but the cladding on it is the is a map of the Williamson's tunnels. Quite a famous um, man in the area, Williamson, who sort of uh, did a lot of tunnel testing, tunnel digging testing in this area, uh, but left some legacy tunnels that we've all got to deal with when we're building new buildings. But at 1200 space car park, and then um, behind you and in, in front of me is the 221 bed hotel for a core, um, and that's due to be finished towards the back end of this year, beginning of next year. Um, and then that's sort of where we sort of get to the end of our particular journey. There's still a few of the obviously development opportunities here within Paddington Village. There's more space for further development, but that sort of, you know, will hopefully be involved and sort of help continue to help our client sort of work our way through this. But it's been a, it's been fantastic to be in, involved in such a, you know, massive, high prestigious project as this one. So. I think one of the things as well with with this um, scheme that we're in here it is that partnership Richard mentioned. We, we were brought on as a construction partner. There's been a lot of stakeholders involved in Paddington Village um, and we've worked with all of them um, in, you know, in the role as a contractor, but also in the role as, you know, the communication and working with the knowledge quarter and, you know, helping them to promote the building as well has been really important for them getting 
you know, tenants into the building. So we really have gone that extra mile. Um, also, as I said earlier, it's the engagement with the local education providers as well in bridging that link between industry and education has been really important. And I think Paddington Village has really shown how that can work. Um, and then stuff Morgan Sindel are doing kind of across in Manchester. So we're working with Manchester City Council. Um, we're doing, we're working on a scheme called Gorton. There, we're also working with Salford. Um, we're doing quite a lot with the University of Salford, um, working with Salford Council. We do a lot with our sister company, Muse. Um, we're working with them both in Salford and over on the Wirral. Um, early engagement with them on the Birkenhead Commercial District. I think, um, I think post COVID, um, obviously we, we can't probably talk about construction without talking about COVID, unfortunately. Um, obviously it's had a big impact, I think, and obviously significant impact on public finances. Predominantly we're a public sector contractor. So um, keeping our eye on where that public money is going to be spent and sort of helping um, local authorities sort of spend that money wisely um, and, and making sure they get every penny well spent. I think that's our focus. Um, we are trying to still sort of slowly grow the construction business in the Northwest. Um, um, in Liverpool, we're, we've got some visibility of some pretty strong pipeline. Um, but I think we've also probably got to wait until next year to see how things pan out a little bit with regards to the public purse and see how that then it continues to sort of develop perhaps in schools, health, um, health sectors, I think would be key. I think there's potentially market in the logistics area. I think that with, with Brexit and uh, Liverpool being given free port status, we think that might be uh, an area where in which we can see develop over the next perhaps five years. Um, beyond that, difficult to see that pipeline, but we'd obviously we, 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 we'll still be here. We're an extremely financially stable business, so we'll still be here um, with some, with some presence, hopefully delivering sort of big, interesting schemes for our clients across the northwest. Well, I think there's been a, I think there's been a bit of a dip. Obviously, construction. You know, kept going, didn't it, through lockdown last year? It was the one industry that sort of kept um, money flowing through the country in some regard. Uh, a lot of hard work was done to make sure we kept everybody safe, you know, on this project and on all of our projects across the Northwest uh, with all of the COVID restrictions that were put into place. But we kept, but we kept it going. But I think what we're seeing is a little bit of a, of a dip in that sort of pipeline coming through this year, which I think is a result of that lockdown last year. And I suppose we're, we're, we're hoping to see then that public money starting to come through perhaps next year and seeing some more projects coming through the pipeline. I think downtown and business is um, a really good opportunity to bring businesses together. Um, it's, you know, Frank, Frank's just great at connecting people. Um, he's well connected himself. Um, but it's, it's the right businesses as well. And it's people who really want to do good in the industry. So. Yeah, I think he, you know, puts on good events and it's it's more about that connectivity between businesses and making sure that we're connected with SMEs that we need to be connecting with as well, which is important. Um, and I've lost it and I've gone blank. <laughs> Started off so well, Lucy. Started off so well. That was going so well. Yeah, it was brilliant. If you enjoyed that video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel on the link below and be among the first to get to listen to all the latest interviews through the Downtown Den.